Hey everybody, my name is Mikey and it's time to kickstart your week with some crowdsourcing. Guess what guys, it's been a while. I've been gone for a little bit. Um, I I've enhanced some equipment, but in the process it dehanced some other stuff. And it took me a while to actually get the equipment I need to make good quality videos for you guys at home. So I apologize for the lateness, but I did make it up to you kind of, sort of, but not, yeah, maybe a little bit. Because I started a new show on the daily called the last 24 which features projects that are in the last 24 hours so you guys can uh can, can see them you know what i mean it, it's kind of cool what i did it was kind of neat so with all new equipment aside let's start let's start this week start out right with some new kickstart projects so let's see what we got this week have you ever asked yourself man i would love to be a bear but I'm a human and I can't quite get things done on becoming a bear unless I got some sort of crazy amount of money that can convert me into a bear. But then I guess like, it wouldn't be the same thing. But for those of you who don't have the money or the time, resources, or knowledge to make yourself into a bear, then you need to play this game called Bear Simulator. Bear Simulator, I will tell you what, at first looked really, really silly, but then it looked really, really cool. And how the game is played is you just live a life of a bear. It's a huge open world game. Just as a bear walking around interacting with things. It sort of reminded me of a, like some RPGs out there of, uh, um, of copyright stuff I can't talk about. Um, but you just go around, you hunt, you hunt trout and other stuff. You search and you go on exploring and there's like night day elements to it. And you can track things so you can actually be the hunter and i think in one of the videos you can you encounter humans i think i'm not quite sure they left it lingering uh for me to figure this out on my own uh but the name and they the uh, name of the game is called bear simulator uh name of the company that is looking to make this game is fair j studios they're looking to raise 29 thousand five hundred dollars by april 17th uh, five dollars get your name on the site uh, listed as a bat and listen on the bear simulator site in a fancy backer section who doesn't like fancy I love fancy because my fancy hats you see where I'm going with this uh, fifteen dollars get you a copy of the game and a nice little nice little add add additive to the value it's at twenty dollars not only get you that stuff but you get a cool pair of sunglasses for your bear just to wear around be all fancy pants as you like to discover honey and whatnot maybe I don't know, swat at things with your big ass bear claws. Bear claws. That actually sounds delicious right about now. But anyway, check them out on the old Kickstarter today. So you live on a planet that's kind of much like our own. It's fun, it's happy, and it's exciting. Things are going well. You go to work, go about your business. Don't. I'm going to throw some extra sunshine in there. You don't have to pay taxes. Um, and there's no mean people in the world. But that all changed. But a big old mean guy came around and depixelized the whole entire planet, making making everything not as crisp and sharp and even monochromatic. Oh my god, we just went back in time, didn't we, folks? Um, it's up to you, Leonardo, to actually spread happiness around the world and going on, which exactly is what the title is, Super Adventure Mega Quest, to go around and restore the planet back to its style, or back to its original uh, form. It looks like it's going to be a game for iOS or Android, or excuse me, iOS or, yeah, I said that right, iOS or Android, um, as well as others. Uh, the creators of the game is called Sol, uh, Solar, Pic Solar Pictures Incorporated. Sorry, my you not all great with the English, it's been a while. They're looking for 40000 Canadian dollars by April 17th. A, uh, they have a dollar back, looks like a $10 back gets you a copy of the game. 25 gets you a soundtrack before it releases. Who doesn't like that sort of thing? Name of the credits and a shout out on their actual official uh, Twitter. So definitely check them out today. Maybe back in a couple bit. It actually looks really good. So check them out. You're one of the last surviving members of the human race. Which, you know what? No pressure or anything like that. But there happened to be a global apocalypse. And you're like the last guy around. What to do? I don't know what I do. Actually, you know what? I have a couple things. I would actually probably go into banks just to kind of see what the inside of it would be. Uh, I guess I just said I would be a looter. Uh, well, hey, you know, money has no meaning if there's nobody there to spend it. Am I right or am I right? But uh, you play a character uh, of a, you play a Russian character who's played by you, forced to abandon his underground shelter, taking a trip upstairs, and actually deciding what, what, 
what to do, you know? Um, the name of the game is called The Sea. Um, they, uh, the, uh, the makers of the game are actually boasting that it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. So it's almost like reading a book in a way, which I like reading books. You may like reading books. We don't know, right? Or we do know. Sorry. Sometimes my analogies are all out of the place. Um, but the makers of the game, it, uh, Misery Development Limited, they're looking to raise, uh, 15,000 British pounds, uh, by April 17th. All my, all my stuff this week since 17th. That's kind of interesting how that works. And that's it for Kickstart Your Week this week. My name is Mike Yo. If you have a Kickstart project about to happen, maybe see one that's really awesome and cool, definitely let me know. You can check me out on Twitter at Mike Yo the DJ. You can send me emails, Mike Yo at Beelsoftware.com. Um, and you can always see fun videos of like this stuff and other things by going to just simply to kickstartyourweek.tv. It's pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and we'll see you next week.